welcome to another Roberts Production Studios tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to add sound in your Adobe After Effects CS3 project. First thing you want to do is you want to add sound to your project file. Easy way to do that is to open the designer sound effects provided by videocopilot.net. Uh, if you don't have sound effects from videocopilot.net, you could use a different website to find a s to find sounds. The first thing you can do is you can go to uh, drums and get uh, build up symbols and all of that stuff. You can preview it by double clicking it and listening to your preview. Okay, and you can if you want that sound. Once you find the sound that you do like, you just drag it over to your project file, just like that. Then once you've done all that, you say you wanted to add sound to your After Effects file composition. You go find the uh, sounds you want. So I want I'm gonna want a glass break, okay? And if you click LL, you could see the waveform. The waveform shows you when the sound starts and when it stops. You can see that down here. Okay. Another sound that I'm going to add is a freezy airy sound. It's pretty good. Um, a bell drum high. And maybe a build up. And that's all in the area that I want it to be in. So now I'm going to hit the resolution to third so it'll render faster pre-render this is pre-rendering and it'll render faster just so I don't have to wait that long to preview the sounds we're just gonna let it render here a little bit now that we got pretty far in the rendering we can preview it a little bit sounds pretty good for our project now that we've done that we want to hit file save okay and we're gonna go to composition make movie okay to add sound you want to make sure your output module click on lossless click check mark the audio output box all this is your settings I just leave that the same click OK then your output two. click on comp one type in your file name so I'm going to click tutorial sound file and make sure it's at the area that you want it to go and you can click save then click render one thing I want to show you about rendering is message rendering one of one it shows you how much RAM is being used when the render was started total time elapsed in the log file Estimated time remaining, 9 minutes. Elapsed time, 14, 15 seconds. And that goes up. Okay, now the project is done rendering. And the next thing, pretty much the last thing that you need to do now is just go into the file that you saved it into. Um, well, I saved it as tutorial sound probably here it's right here but um I already have it opened right here quick time then you just click play and preview it and that's how you add sound to an Adobe After Effects CS3 project Thank you for watching. Um, I think I've explained everything. So you can always ask for a tutorial to be made. And sure enough, I might make it. That's all for today. Thank you for watching once again. Have a good day.